Oh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Or good afternoon. I'm going to say welcome to the replayers. You're so welcome. Come on in. And I've just had a message from Candy. You're at um, a medical appointment this morning. Sending you love. Take care. Yes. Out and about. Yes. Oh, sending you loads of love, Candy. You join us when you can. We'll keep you company while you wait. Have you taken anything with you to, um, to do while you're there? Don't worry, Candy. I know you can't chat. Oh, Mrs. Gigi, good morning. Oh, I've just been listening to your um, video, Mrs. Gigi, this morning. Yes, you're, you were making, you're making a, a Christmas journal, and that was lovely. I was having a little tidy up. <laughs> there's, there's Beth. Good morning, Beth, dear. Oh, so nice to see you. And there's, oh, and there's Mel, Mel Joy. Good afternoon, Mel Joy. <laughs> so nice to see you. Oh, can't come over, can you, for a sesh? Oh, to do our crafting together. Maybe later on next year, Melanie. There's, oh, Popo, I haven't seen you for a long time. How lovely to see you. We'll keep you company while you work. I know, ship's paint doesn't get made without working, does it? No, you're doing all the billing and everything, aren't you? So nice to see you. So lovely to see you, Popo. And there's Vanessa. Vanessa, I do hope your your healing well oh, i know you can't do much craft at the moment but the craft for you just so you can watch and relax how's that and there's jean hi jean i've been playing with your one of the fussy cuts you you sent to me been having a little play this morning. I got the sewing machine out when I finally tidied the desk from last Monday. Oh, there's Gail, Gail Ann. So nice to see you. Love to you, the hubby, and all those lovely little dogs. <laughs> you're, you're healing. You're just watching and supporting. And I appreciate that. Let us keep you company. And there's lovely Lizzie. Good morning, lovely Lizzie. So nice to see you. Oh, and how's Papa healing? Last time I I was on one of your videos, actually, I was watching your lovely index card video yesterday, but um Papa was having physio coming in, and yes, yes. He's healing well and working hard on the physio and you're supporting him, Lizzie. That's so lovely. Really lovely. Right. Shall we do some craft? Oh, <laughs> there we are. When we were making the paper pockets, I started to make some of these fabric pockets, didn't I? I've got one of the... I've got one of the templates here and I've been doing some slow stitching. This papa is doing well. Under your loving care there, Lizzie. Oh, but you're always busy paper crafting and sewing, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. So it, it's just the same as the paper pocket. I think I started to make this. Maybe it was last week. I've lost all track of time. Do you know some in some phases of your life, time is a time's a funny thing, isn't it? Mm. And you're Lizzie, you're a little bit isolated at the moment. And I'd probably like to say at this stage, there's quite a lot of people all around the world. We're all at different stages, aren't we? And we know a lot of people that have lost people and we're holding them in our hearts and and also people that are healing people that are preparing for operations and also um i know there's been a natural disaster in um america keeping those people in our minds i know we are and also we're here as a community to keep one another company because we're finding I'm not going to mention the word, but we're finding ourselves 
shot in a little bit more and this is great because we've got our craft we've got one another and we will just we're just here to keep one another company <laughs> and I appreciate you I really do mm. yes Mary is having the New Year's Day stream yes she is Mrs Gigi she's compiling a list if you want to join in Mrs Gigi uh, maybe um contact Mary yes New Year's Day streamathon I think it goes on all all day I'm I'm not sure all through Christmas Eve maybe yes there's lovely Sylvia oh Sylvia all good afternoon all the way over in France so nice to see you oh and there's lovely Barbara good afternoon. good morning I mean in Chile Canada here's little Freddie Freddie's tired he's not only been for one walk he's been for two long walks today he's in demand <laughs> because we're meeting each other out in the fresh air it, it, it he's in demand for walking <laughs> there's lovely becky becky w who i had to, i listened to all lovely beth hi joe i know you're there as well i listened to lovely beth's stream but and i was holding my phone walking up the stairs and i it was open and i I put lovely Becky Waters in time out. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I don't know. So sorry about that. But I I actually listened to all of that stream. I shouldn't have been. But I was just finding it hard to sleep. So I had you as company. I sat up in my bed making, I don't know, sticking and gluing. Let's put it like that. Oh, good morning, Christy. So nice to see you. Oh, you're in traffic and gently listening. I would imagine Ali has finished school now, broken up for the holidays. Yes, Barbara. Mary, up uh, Mary, Freddie had a date with his girlfriend, Molly. Oh, they got on so well. I've taken a little video when they went looking. <laughs> he loves her that's who we saw again today molly's mummy phoned up and said do you fancy a walk before my work at eight o'clock and i thought oh oh gosh yeah yes i said yes i put the alarm on and i took my tea in my cup of tea my first tea in my keep cup and <laughs> he, he met his girlfriend at eight o'clock this morning <laughs> oh Becky yeah, I know Becky you used it as a I know you used it as a, a chocolate break you're so good <laughs> oh dear I know we all want to get sent to that corner where the chocolate is don't we <laughs> I'm using your travellers what do you call these words are probably going to be beyond me today um i think you call this my traveler's notebook that lovely christy made me i've got the notebook here with my stream notes in and i this is what traveler's notebooks are for i i put my latest this is the one from laurie paint girly and maljoy that's going in there and i've got another one to show you later so I'm, I'm using it, very precious, very precious to me. Here's another um, little doggy in West. <laughs> West is listening to me. Hi, West, Freddie says, hi. Hi, Dawn, nice to see you. And there's Rebecca. You're up early, Rebecca, do you? <laughs> so nice to see you. We are crafty people, aren't we? Well, I'm going to show you this um, paper pocket, but don't let me miss anybody that comes into chat. Write in capitals and say, Janet, <laughs> don't ignore me. That's lovely, Carol. Hi, Carol. Carol, we'd be stitching along today. You, Carol might not be chatting much. You might be stitching. Are you still into the craze of those slow stitch balls? Because they are 
fabulous, fabulous. Now, I'm making this pocket, look at this, get in frame. I'm making this for somebody very special. It's cat fabric here. Now, this challenged me this morning, although it doesn't take too much. I'm making this fabric, this boutique that Christy gave me. Brilliant, because it's got the pattern on both sides. Pocket for beginners. And then on this one, I because it's not both sides, I had to put a little piece of fabric in the corner. And now for this one, oh, it's got a pattern and everything's the right way up. But, but I, I conquered it this morning and I've made myself a little pattern, put a little cat drawn on there. And so let's, yes, I put it this way. It, for some people, this might be really, so then you fold this corner over here, like so. For some people, this might be easy. But forgetting my head round doing a patterned one way paper uh, fabric. Whoa, that challenged me. You're not doing scrappy balls, you're, you're prepping for your 2022 um, stitching journal. Oh, that looked beautiful. What I've seen of it so far, I haven't been, and then fold this corner over here, just like we did for the paper one. I haven't been, to be honest, there's Beth waving to everybody. I haven't been on social media a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For some people, not saying any names, this will be a challenge. Oh, I know. Everything's a challenge, Barbara. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so then let's see. I've got it is a challenge. <laughs> Look, the struggle is real. It's a little bit like me, and let's see if I can do it this way. Fold this over here. It does work, honestly. So this is the front of the fabric, and that's the back. And this. I hope for your sakes this isn't a tutorial. And then this goes, oh no, that's completely wrong. Um, right, okay. Right. Maybe you turn it over. Oh, I'm glad you're bearing with me. Bear with, bear with. Um, maybe you fold it over that way and this way. Here like so. I get there in the end. I'm like British Rail, I get there in the end. <laughs> oh dear, and then, oh yes, maybe. And then you fold it up like that and over like that. Let's see what, up. Uh, yes, I'll take that because what I'm going to do is fold that. I'm making this ridiculously complicated, please. Um, just get fabric of your choice that doesn't have a pattern. But I'm making this for somebody. You probably know who you are. And I, yes, there we are. There we are. Oh, no, I've done it. It's the right way. But all the cats are upside down. Right, okay. I'm going to do this one offline. Some may say that's giving up, but no, 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 no. I'm just going to fetch myself. It's not biscuit time, no, Freddie, not yet, dear. I'll fetch myself another piece of fabric and I will do the cat one later. Because earlier on, I did have it the right way around. But let's just. So what did we have? We had square, um, a rectangle of fabric, no measurements. We don't do measurements. <laughs> I should have done here's one I made earlier. Thank you, Gail. Gail, 
we love a pocket, don't we? This is moving on from, well, you probably saw me do this, this one in that video, didn't you? I'm moving on from doing fabric. Oh, yet again, this one has a right and a wrong way, doesn't it? It's only the batik fabric that isn't so tricky. Well, let's see if I can do it. At least there's not a right or a wrong way up with this one. I must have done it for this one. It probably takes a lot of fiddling. <laughs> we do, don't we, girl? We love making pockets. They're great for journals, and it's great to be, I'm finger pressing here. I haven't got my little iron. Like our lovely Lizzie Brewer, how, you have your little iron, don't you? Um, Dawn is in Scotland, so I bet it's pretty chilly up there and pretty snowy, isn't it? Um, not quite as cold as Barbara in Canada. <laughs> oh, so then let's. In a minute, I'm going to be doing some painty paper, so I it'll get it'll get easier later. <laughs> We need to be kind to ourselves. Don't do anything too complicated, especially when you're trying to read chat. <laughs> oh, so rip, pop this corner down here, like so. And let's bring this one up. Let's see, oh, that one goes right the way up, doesn't it? Like that. Let's see if Janet can get this one to work. Poor old Janet, very challenged today. La 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 la. <laughs> oh, Lizzie, Lizzie is paying close attention. Oh, Lizzie. Mm. We'll make one with paper in a minute and then I'll do it with the paper just so I'm not, I'm probably complicate i'm complicating the issue lizzie but yes of course but these be lovely for our fabric journals mm, definitely look out some batik fabric with a pattern on both sides it's beginning to look a lot like christmas oh yes oh yes lizzie yes right so you've got your wrong side here and then Fold it over, finger press it, or get out your little iron, and then like that. And what did I do? I folded it this way, and I folded it up. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, let me see. I did it. Yes, hooray. And then you fold that over there like so. And I have a little pocket. It's obviously going to be different size each time. So you've got one there, one there. And I just need to put a little bit of fabric here in the corner. I did it. <laughs> it's a tad chilly. Just a tad. Look at that, Dawn. Look how cold it is. It's minus numbers. <laughs> Oh dear, not even Scotland gets it that chilly, but it never gets terribly warm in Scotland, does it? So yes, just pop, sorry, it's not that close. Then just pop that on there and literally take this away with you to the watch on the television, something to do later and do some slow stitching. I mean, if you want to, whiz it round with the machine. That would be fun. Now, because I don't want to waste this flap here, I'm going to actually, didn't matter when it was paper, did it? But I don't want to waste that. So that can be used later. And that gets folded over there. And let's pin that down. Oh, Lizzie, was that clear as mud? 
And there we have a pocket for you to slow stitch on. And then you go up here and then up here. But I actually work on it while it's not sewn together. So I, I've got more more it's easier <laughs> christina so nice to see you welcome come on in come on in keep you nice and warm unless you're in florida you need to cool down don't you <laughs> there's our lovely janet nice to see you janet usa welcome warm welcomes and here is our lovely laura found my rainbow it's never far it's always on the desk laura so nice to see you. Oh, really lovely to see you. So that's my little slow stitch project. Let me, Lizzie, because you were playing close attention, let's try and do it with paper. We did this last time, but let's do it again. You get a magazine, you fold it in half, fold it that way again, and then you cut this little bit here. A little bit like a mouth. <laughs> 10 to minus 50 below this time of year. I just can't imagine living in that um, sort of temperature. It's crazy, crazy. And this is a great time to say welcome to all those lovely people that are gently listening in the background. Mm. Really, really, really nice that you can be here with us. And sometimes you don't even feel like crafting, but we, we're just we're just holding one another up. We're standing vigil with one with one another and for one another. Sometimes all you can do is cry. Sometimes you that's how you feel, and do you know. We're, we're with you. Let's we're with you today. There's lovely Janet. Ah, oh, so nice to see you. And beautifully done there. No, let's let's press hide. There you go. I press it. I, I just don't want to press the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm modding as well. I'm loving that. Ah, <laughs> mm. oh, so lovely to see you, Laura. Mm. <laughs> Yes, we love gentle hugs, don't we, Lizzie? So, yes, so then you fold over a little corner here, Lizzie, and a big corner here, and then you do the folding. And of course, oh, yes, you fold it over here, you fold it up, it's a lot easier on paper, and then you fold it round, and then you've got a lovely pocket. And that's all that we're doing with our our um, fabric. If it's not clear, if it's, if it's as clear as mud, um, message me and we'll have a little FaceTime or something. So I'm actually now going to just enjoy chatting to you. Now I've done that little demonstration. <sighs> I'm going to enjoy just doing a little sewing. Just a little bit of gentle sewing. Do you know, I totally get it. Sometimes you just don't want to come into chat. I've been, I've been doing a lot of that recently. As you when I do come into chat, I tend to put my fingers in the wrong place and put people in time out. <laughs> oh, dear. There we are. I'm making a heart. Look at this lovely fabric that Auntie Jennifer gave me. I think it's like upholstery fabric. It's lovely and thick. Really beautiful. Yes, it's nice just to start the week. Start the week with one another. Mm. Thanks, Janet. Thanks, Janet USA. Candy's here. She's She's in the background. She's waiting for an appointment we're sending candy love <laughs> there we are that's it 
See, I am I collapse it now, Lizzie, and I just start to work on it like this because it feels easier. And we're all about making things easier. You have a lot of ideas, but you can't work on them. Yeah, but yeah, because of the doctor. Um did I did I are you saying hello to Angie? Have I missed Angie coming into the chat? Angie, if you're in the chat, um, am I misreading that? Uh, hi, hi, hi. There's lovely Heather too. Hi, Heather. Come on in. Come on in. Hectic week when you've got children, isn't it? Have they broken up from school yet? Come on in and... Mm. <laughs> we'll get used to your new name, won't we? get used to that <laughs> so lovely to have you here <laughs> you have to go take care of the dogs give Obi his meds ah oh, love to gorgeous little Obi ah oh, oh, and get your breakfast and meds too you'll be back oh I know that Mondays is, is a busy day love to you and your dad um when you when you phone in so nice to see you you take care and I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> oh. Now, I was saying something and I lost my thread, but it will come back to me. Because when I see a name in chat, I love to say, say hi. Hi, Gail D. Oh, lovely to see you. I'm making fabric pockets. I've just given a, a very long-winded, I'm not sure, how I'm doing this demonstration <laughs> and now I'm doing some slow stitching <laughs> oh yes I'll sit back so you can see lovely young Freddie oh ooh. now lovely Rebecca on her channel you're having a party now people keep saying the twenty sec. It's on the twenty second. Now, oh, I'm just looking at my computer. That is Wednesday. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. A lot of the time, <laughs> I've lost the plot. Ah, oh, I'm loving all those hearts. <laughs> and lovely, supported by lovely Beth. You're having a Christmas party on your channel, aren't you? It's going to be quite late for me. I might not make it. I have been burning the candle at both ends. I'm hoping that I get more sensible <laughs> and get off to sleep at a sensible time. 8 p.m. Central, so that's 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So, oh, that is 12 o'clock. I might be wrong. Something like 12 o'clock midnight for me. Um, but if I don't see you, I will catch you on replay. So have loads of fun, Rebecca, dear. Um, Rebecca's, if you want to find out more details, because they're going to be having games. You can go to um, Rebecca's channel. There'll be a link there for the fa her Facebook group. Rebecca's channel is create with create with Becca, isn't it? Yes. Oh, here's here's Beth. It's a bingo giveaway. Message with Rebecca for a bingo card. How wonderful! You're giving away um, a creating book, aren't you? A creating prompt book. I think it'll be lots of fun, lots of fun. There's lovely Janice. What a lovely message you left me this morning, Janice. Thank you, dear. That was very kind of you. Ah, oh, Penny. People are saying hi to Penny now. There's two pennies. There's, there's a penny in the USA and a penny in... Penny, say hi to me again because I missed you. Um, just don't let me miss anybody. Me chatting to you is much more important than the craft. <laughs> As you can see, this slow stitching, it's a wonky heart. It's 
you know, as Beth says, as Rebecca says, as Lizzie says, there's no, um, it's Penny in Florida, USA. Hi, Penny, because there's a Penny in Croydon just round the corner. So nice to see you. You were here last week. Oh, so lovely. In sunny Florida. Gosh, that's amazing, isn't that? I love it. I love it that we're oh, from all over the world. And the Penny, a Penny for your thoughts. <laughs> Beth, I wonder how close you are to one another. Lovely Beth, lovely Beth streams, Penny. And she comes from Florida too. <laughs> oh, oh, and Lizzie, of course, of course. There's me forgetting. <laughs> oh, so nice to see everybody. How lovely. So, yes, you can see how easy this is. And I just take it. I've got my slow stitch to go kit. I've got my pocket Kathy D bag and pop it there, tie it up, take it on the train on Wednesday when I go to see my mum. Did I say? I said it in my head, Gail D, did I say hello to you? That, I can't believe I did that. Mm. Gail D, hello and welcome. I know you were up there a little bit in chat. I, I apologize for not saying hello. In my defense, I said it in my head. <laughs> it's taking took a little while for my head to catch up with my mouth oh hi Angela so nice to see you really nice come on in you're welcome to come on in oh and there is lovely Cheryl oh Cheryl so nice to see you thank you for telling me to go to bed when I'm in Beth's chat and it's getting a little bit late but I must admit I was a little bit naughty I didn't take turn the light off Cheryl I I I was yeah naughty I was doing some gluing and sticking I was in bed in my pajamas I was happy and relaxed though and you can just add little bits of fabric and put it together later. That would be nice with a bead in it, wouldn't it? I'm going to pin that on and do that later. So if it's not quite clear to anybody, let's have a FaceTime or something later. We can do that. Just message me, please. So yes, this, that gets put now in my, Take it on the train. There we are. Thank you, Kathy D. There's Gail D. Oh, <laughs> sending you lots of love over there. <laughs> bananas in pajamas. Bananas in pajamas. <laughs> oh, I've been wearing my pajamas a lot since I've been home. <laughs> so, what have I been up to? I'm gonna. Right. I mean business now. I mean business. I'm going to roll up my sleeves because I'm going to do some painting <laughs> and I'm going to be disciplined. And for what? This is my Christmas blouse. It's got. Now, for you that do slow stitching, no, we're not cutting it up. Wouldn't it be lovely on a slow stitch piece, the little gingerbread men? <laughs> Behave. <laughs> oh, dear. How are you, Cheryl? Hasn't been up for long, have you? Look at the discipline here. This is a person who's got glue on this, these trousers that won't come off. I'm being careful. <laughs> oh dear. I was cut it, glue it, stick it. I was, Rebecca. I really was. I had my magazine. 
And yes, it looked like it had snowed because <laughs> all the clippings on the bed and doing some fussy cutting, not fussy cutting, but cutting out pictures that I liked. <laughs> Shower time. Let's go, says Rebecca. Yeah, we're with you. Don't you worry. <laughs> we stick together, don't we, Rebecca? Come on, everybody. <laughs> okay, finally out of traffic. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Christy. Not to be used in slow stitching. Maybe in 10 years' time when it's got holes in it. Although I could patch it up, couldn't I? <laughs> so, there we are. As advertised in the title, doing some painty papers because another. I have been doing a lot of crafting on the go when I'm with my mum and in the lounge when I'm relaxing, watching watching all your lovely videos and lives. And I don't get to the desk that much. So I thought I would do a little bit of painting. And I thought painting is very relaxing. <laughs> You don't have to join in, but you can if you want to. <laughs> Good morning, Kat. So nice to see you. I had a wonderful happy mail from Kat. And so lovely. And it said, you made this little journal especially for me and fill it with, with whatever makes you happy. So thank you, Kat. And when I get happy mail, I plough into it away and this morning look at this dear journal isn't it gorgeous dear little journal beautiful painty paper talking about painty paper wonderfully stitched on but you put a button at the back wonderful idea and then you wind it all around wonderfully done an elastic and a little journal and this is what i was going to put the next one i'm putting it in my christy flow journal i have another piece of elastic here and it's going to go in here and i've already made a page in it thank you cat <laughs> i did it this morning i cleared my desk and i had 20 minutes to go so i put my machine up and i this is one of jean's fussy cuts here there we are and i i've got the sewing machine out and you can't actually see it there's lace here this is from paint girly and then some magazine behind it and this journal because normally in my journals I just go I just put layers of paint and glue now with this one I'm going to try something different I'm not quite sure how long it will last <laughs> oh thank you Kat Ben Ben brought it to me and I received it last Tuesday Wednesday was a very special day for us in our family so it was very appropriate that it arrived on Tuesday I yes and Ben and Sam came over to High Wycombe where I was with my mum and brought me the happy mail and I opened it thank you <laughs> yes yeah, so I'm going to try something different in this one I'm going to try and just add things that pictures or things that make me happy but just I'm, I'm going to try and keep it more simple so I might just be putting some washi tape there or a little picture let's see how long that lasts it'll probably just get painted painted on <laughs> there there's Angie Angie if you said hi before and I missed you, I apologise. <laughs> I wouldn't want to miss you for the world, Angie. <laughs> hi, how are you? Are you busy? Have you got lots of family coming over next weekend for Christmas? Oh, thank you, Kat. Thank you. 
it's it, journals are so lovely to have, aren't they? So I've got it in here where I've got my cat and I've got my lorry paint girl and my Mountjoy in here. And they're all going to be to be different. <laughs> oh. So, yes, what am I doing? I was watching AJ's Inspired Life and she was doing. She was, I'm just going to scrape paint. Oh, yes. Let's just scrape paint. <laughs> oh, hi, Bonita. So nice to see you. Oh, wonderful. Oh, come on in. Oh, how lovely. How lovely. Are you getting ready for work, Bonita? Oh, how lovely. This is very relaxing. So Alison on AJ's Inspired Life was doing, she made a video and she was doing the prompts that I do. And she came to Painty Paper. And I, I remember, was it last week or the week before? I couldn't find my Painty Paper. I did this morning. That aside. Um, and she got, she had... Oh, it was use an envelope, wasn't it? And she had envelopes and she had them all folded up. And it was she had delicious old envelopes with made into painty papers. And I thought, oh, that is delicious. I would love to do that. So here we are. <laughs> I thought this is a really gentle thing to do with me this morning. If you would like to join in and scrape some paint, join in. The great thing about acrylic paint, if you, if you scrape it like this, it dries quite quickly. Christina, Christina, you're up late. I was one of the girls at a party. What's happening? Bless you. Mm. Ah, okay, Kat says, I love a bit of upcycling. Oh, the it's made from the brown Amazon shipping paper, shipping envelope. Oh, wow, it's made from the shipping envelope. That's amazing. It's quite um, nice, and, nice and sturdy, that brown paper, isn't it? A little bit like a Trader Joe bag yes oh we love a bit of upcycling don't we mm. wow oh that's so that's my phone oh no caller id so it's not my mum so i'm just going to ignore that it is on silence so that's fine um yes i love it i love a yes I love it. We sound is part of it, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You're up late for waiting for your daughter to get home. I knew it. That's when you catch up. You've got five daughters. No, four daughters, haven't you? I'm going to use all this paint up. I'm just going to keep going because this is so relaxing. I apologise that my phone is there, but I have to keep it on just in case my mum phones me. But this is an unknown one, so I'm going to just let it ring for a while. My phone is going quite a lot because there's quite a lot of organising going on here. So these times are so precious. Uh, Janice, I missed a comment, but um, yes. Um, what's it saying? Oh, yes. You have lovely Christina, Christina's Craft Shack. I will put, give me chance, and I will put loads of links in later. <laughs> loads of links. These are just, this is going to be no rhyme or reason. These will just be torn up so they don't have to look like anything. This is the best sort of art to do. Christina has this wonderful video. 
And you know how I love wonky hearts. She's got a whole journal, sewing and paper on one of her videos. I will leave links down below for that. Give me a little chance because straight after this, I will take young Freddie for a little walk around the block. Oh, is Janice going? You have a good day, Janice. You take care. Thank you for joining us while you get ready for work. Oh, this is just so relaxing. And then, yeah, all you do is put them all together. And you can imagine just flicking through these and they're all covered in yummy paint. Need something. And you can, we can do some printing on it. We might do that next week, actually. Sometimes in life, you have to keep it simple. Hmm. Are you doing crafting while you wait up? Because I'm not, I know it's the middle of the night for you, isn't it, Christina? Was it last, this time last year that we did the same? Sat with you while you waited for your daughter. Oh, bye, Kat. Thank you for coming. So nice to see you. You have a good and creative day. You take care. Yeah, take care. And thank you so much. I'm glad you popped in so I could um, show everybody while you were there. Your present wrapping. Oh, how lovely. How lovely. Let's get some gold. Yeah, Janice is saying, oh, cat, yeah, oh, I've got the wrong end of the thread. You're saying goodbye to lovely, lovely Janice who's nipping off to work. Is it invoicing today? It's the end of the month. It might be invoicing at the newspaper this month. Sorry, cat, sorry. I'm not shooing you away. <laughs> come on in, come on. Oh dear, I'm getting gold because it's always lovely to have some gold. If this gets all filled up and then stamped on, actually, will I make it into wonky hearts for Happy Mail? Ooh, it would make, it would make, I'm thinking painting paper, they'd make nice envelopes to send. That's Happy Mail, wouldn't they? Oh dear, what am I like? Oh, lovely. I like this. Because when you do jelly printing, especially when you do it live, you end up having to have the wash stand and pegging everything on. Mm. <laughs> I know, Kat, I know. And even this drop, this drop paper is going to be lovely. Or oh, we can make some washi. How lovely. Oh, I should have had the grease proof paper here, Kat. And then I could have made some doodly washi tape like you did on your video. I will link that below because that's that is and Gail, Gail T did that. That's one of the projects I have in the back of my mind. I don't tend to write them down because they just percolate the ideas, don't they? You thought that was Fred on the end of the table. There, he's here. That's the poncho I'm crocheting. Is that what you meant, Christina? Look, it's late. We'll let you off. You get back to um, wrapping the presents. <laughs> you must have a lot of presents to wrap with your family. Yeah. Oh, your hand is... They do say when um, things are healing, they get itchy. Yeah, I've heard that. That's a good sign, isn't it? But very hard for you. Yeah. That's where he should be, so you could see him. I wish I could set it up better. Oh, Barbara, you sent me a link to this channel didn't you? And I was watching it. There's this channel and they have their, they craft 
it was, they're making something with their dog, but their dog was literally on the table. And yeah, they, in my defense, they, they do have someone behind the camera, don't they? They were doing a live um, to help. But the dog was literally there with her and then sort of getting a little bit smaller than um I can leave that link as well because you it'd be fun, wouldn't it? And then they were saying, oh, buy a buy a, a t-shirt, buy a mug, weren't they? So funny. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. I can cat. This is something that if this is on the desk, I can just come in and carry on. Wonderful. Mm. Cheryl's saying good morning to you, Freddie dear. I have got the jelly plate here, and uh, but I'm enjoying doing this so much. I do have these are what lovely Laura sent in a happy mail. Let me. See how these move. I want to experiment with them. There's lovely Nettie. How are you? You're wrapping presents for the grandchildren there, Nettie. Let's see. Gelatos, pink and red. I have the fake gelatos, the ones from Amazon. But let's see. Some, it's nice to have the different products. Let's see how that moves with water. Mmm, fun. I've got my little pot. I couldn't get on with those brushes where it's in the... Hmm. Rebecca, Rebecca crafts with her cat on the table. You've been crafting with Clara on the table. But she keeps eating your projects. Yes. Mm. Oh, Cheryl, he's already had a Christmas present. He gets so spoiled. He's even had his own card. Can you believe that? Yes. Oh, he gets so spoiled. And Freddie, if he sees a present with a crinkly um, paper, with paper, um, all wrapped up. He thinks it's always for him. And he says, no, this one's not for you. This one's safe for mummy. And um, we went to the park on Saturday and somebody gave him a present. It's so sweet. And he opened, he opened it himself. He knew it was for him. We think that they must put some form of smell on dog toys because he can suss out his presents. Or do you think he reads the label, Barbara? I mean, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> There's Anne. Good morning, Anne, dear. There's lovely Anne in sunny Florida. Anne, so nice to see you. I did a complicated sort of pockety thing. Complicated because I was reading chat. And now... I'm just gently making painty papers with old envelopes. It seems to be just so nice and relaxing. I know, he really does. And, and they, they gave him his present and it was a ball on a string and they let him, this was in the park, actually in the park. And um, He sort of opened it, he ripped it and opened it. Oh, he loves a present. Our cats were the, when we had cats, they were, they didn't realise it was a present for them, but they liked playing with the paper. <laughs> I even like this. You know where I put a black Posca pen there to put the addresses out? It's quite nice to have those black marks. Now, maybe, um, I should be demonstrating another colour, but, or oh, another, but I'm enjoying these. They're nice and creamy. Thanks, Laura, to you. Lovely. Lovely. So they're, when people talk about products, I'm never quite sure which ones move with water and which ones don't, but these ones move with water. Mm. Oh, 
oh, that's a lovely painty paper. And that's a lovely envelope. That was from Jean Moran. I'll show you that later. It's nice to use these papers. That one will need to dry before I do anything else. <laughs> Ears are up. <laughs> He's wondering whether there's another present. <laughs> Oh, oh, I might keep one of them back and I'll show you when I stream um, next Monday one of his pre Oh, He can open a present. There'll be plenty of presents under the tree for little Freddie. He has his own toy box and he, when people come, he, he chooses a toy. And when, we're, when we sit down to eat, he likes to pick a toy out so we can throw it to him. Mm. Oh, OK, Carol, dear. So then what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to, what my plan was, was to use this lovely baker's twine that my journal from Kat was um, in and string up these painting papers somehow. They might be a bit big. Some of them will work, but I'm just going to make like a little flow journal. I might actually change my mind because I might make some of them into envelopes. But I don't have to decide that now. And I might be doing something more of printing on them next week. Thank you. They're just, yeah, there's no, this is it's another craft where there's no right or wrong, and that's what I love. There we are. We use everything we get, don't we? <laughs> we do use everything. That spray left over from doing leaves last autumn. So this is like a little flow. It was just from cardboard from the back of paper. Oh, thank you. That's Kat's video, making washi tape. Oh, super. Thank you, Janet USA. Thank you. You linked to Laura's new channel. Thank you, Vanessa dear. That's kind of you. That's kind of you. See, you can simply just... And they're ready to work on some more. Doesn't matter if it comes over. To work on some more or just to rip up and use. So loving that. Thank you for joining me in that wonderfully relaxing craft. <laughs> I'll put that one on the top. And I'm going to continue. If I leave this on the desk, I'm going to do some more. Mm. <laughs> Bat, you made pumpkin bread. We'll have some at snack time. Are you nearly ready? Do you think Freddie's nearly ready? Yes. Now, when I get to snack time, I'm thinking, where's Kimberly? Maybe Hubby's off um, today, or maybe Kimberly is gently listening in the background. But I know this is usually Kimberly's time to shine. <laughs> when it's snack time, she's usually dashing off, telling us what she's made. I know. Can you imagine? We get together virtually. Can you imagine the feast and the mess of craft we got if we all got together physically? Can you imagine it? You made cash wash, cash washi tape. Oh, and it was one of your favourite projects, Beth. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, well, I shall certainly be doing some of that. And we all put our own twist on it, don't we, Carol, dear? Let's pop that over here. I'm just going to reach over like that. I'll leave that on the table. And that's nice to come back to, actually. I'll pop that there. And it is time for me... To wash the paint off my hands, let me do it with one of these first. <laughs> oh, do you know, that was one of the things I was going to make. And then I got called to my mum's. I, I've got 
I've still got the pumpkin here, but they last. I've got fresh pumpkin. And in Waitrose, I found from all the way from America, tinned pumpkin. And I was going to make Cheryl's recipe. I think it's in my autumn journal up on the shelf. Um, but it wasn't to be. But don't just have to make it at Thanksgiving. There might be a time when I can cook in um, the Christmas holidays. Definitely. Mm. Oh, you've shown me your book, um, haven't you, Bear? Yeah, you made them. Um, yes, you've shown that. That was when you were very beginning to do mixed media, wasn't it, um, Beth? Yeah. Right, let's get. Yeah, you've shown that on your lovely channel, haven't you, Beth? Dear? Snack time now. I made this dough, I made double dough, and I'm so glad I did because I um, couldn't quite have the chance to do baking. So all I had to do was get like a sausage shape of dough out of the freezer and cut it up. Freddie, is it time for snack? Ooh. <laughs> I think it is. He's very alert at this time, isn't he? Angie, you made it back. Oh, always nice to have you with us, Angie, dear. And I, earlier on, I asked you a question and then missed your reply. I was I was asking how, how you are and are you busy with the family at this time of year? With, uh, uh, have you got people staying? And So these are from before, these... And oh, let hold on before I do that. Most importantly, Christmas snacks. <laughs> are they Christmas? Oh, I don't think they are. They just look like candy canes, don't they? It's not candy. <laughs> he did put right up. Do you think he understood the word snack time? Oh. Oh, is Teresa there? Hi, Teresa. Oh, you've just stopped by. You can't stay. We'll watch later. Oh, ah, oh, oh, so lovely to see you, Teresa. Really nice to see you. You take care. Take care. I know you're all behind because you're on jury duty, and that must have put you so behind. That's for you. That's your candy cane. Where do you want to take that, Freddie? Is that a very high value one? You want to take it off somewhere. Right. Let's see. Did I have some hand sanitizer on here? Did I? Um, yes. I'm just going to do this because I'm touching my food. <laughs> oh, there's Angie chatting to me. Yes, busy. We have our little guy coming today and he'll be and we'll have him till Christmas Eve. Right, so you are busy. Yes, you're on duty, aren't you? Um, you really are. Oh, you want to eat it down there? Yeah, you can eat it down there. You can see his tail wagging now. <laughs> he was so anxious to get his treat, wasn't he? <laughs> so I made these because remember when Ben got the Fresh hazelnuts from the wall garden for one of the people that he goes to do work with. Hello. And Freddie's nose featuring featuring in here now. <laughs> Aww. You all right, Angela, dear? Oh, so nice to see you. <laughs> I know, he didn't in the end, though. They're not as high value as those little sausagey ones that um, Melanie gave, are they? He's sniffing round. He knows there's some more. That one's for next week. <laughs> we have some chamomile tea. Are you doing Taiwanese, An An Angela, dear? Um, don't worry. It'll all sort itself out. <laughs> So we've got hazelnuts and I toasted them and chocolate chips. So it's really quite an American-y 
recipe here. Let me see if this is a cookie or a biscuit. Hold on. Oh, there's no snap, so it's not a biscuit. I think it's a cookie. I made a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> and I've got, got it on my Christmas plate here. There we are. I don't think you can see it, actually. It's a Port Merriam Christmas plate. <laughs> so there you go. And it's got cinnamon sugar. I love cinnamon sugar. You made chocolate chip cookies, sugar cookies, peanut butter cookies, Russian tea cakes, and bark with your grandkids. Wow. <laughs> Nettie, I bet they loved that. The kitchen must have been in such a state. Mmm. 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 Mm. They're very young, Angela. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. They're cinnamon and mini mini mini. Mmm. They really are. Very beautiful. Oh, that's it. Freddie's coming to sit back up now. <laughs> there he is. Oh, bless him. Mmm. He's standing guard on, <laughs> on his Christmas. Mum's going to make cookies and, oh, that's lovely. You're going to eat them. That's, that's the best thing to do, isn't it? I'm going to get a tissue because I think I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me. <laughs> Sorry, Freddie. Did that make Freddie jump? I'm glad I got to the tissue in time. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know where I put the hand sanitizer. There it is. <laughs> You keep forgetting to send your post. Oh, you're too busy crafting, Jean. That's what it is. Flower everywhere, but so much fun. And you had music playing. Oh, and oatmeal cookies, says Nettie. <laughs> oh, you're creating memories for them, Nettie. They, they remember that. So thank you. Thank you very much. I love the icon. <laughs> I've always got my little tissue. Joe makes fun of me, don't you, Joe? <laughs> mm. There's Katie Cat, my niece. Oh, Katie Cat. Oh, hi. Mm. Um, I presume you're off today. Shall we meet up for friends at five? Katie Cat's my niece, and we just. Because I've been, been in sixes and sevens, haven't I? I just don't, don't know whether I'm coming or going. But um, let's meet up and do friends at five, shall we? <laughs> Look what Jean sent me. Jean sent, I showed Katie Cat, I showed everybody the love in, in my, one of my lives, oh no, the hot video. I show I showed everybody the lovely card and envelope you made me. Thank you, Katie. You finished nights this morning. And yes, please, friends at five. Yes, I'll give Freddie a little walk and then we'll we'll sit and watch friends together. <laughs> well, what are you having with coffee, Barbara? What have I missed? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, pie. Mm. <laughs> There's my lovely niece. <laughs> Can't wait to see you on the 28th, Katie. <laughs> It'd be so lovely. Oh, there's Alison. Oh, Alison. Hi. So nice to see you. I had one of your ideas, Alison. I've been doing making painty paper on envelopes because I was, just loved yours so much when on one of your videos mm. happy monday you just finished gym she's driving home for christmas yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> thank you jean yes you're not cutting it up for slow stitching you know <laughs> mm. I will be, Angie. Yes, I will be. I'll be here. I'm always here on a Monday, apart from when I'm not. No, I'm always here on a Monday. It was only when my mum and dad needed me. There's, there's not much 
that will keep me from being here on a Monday, Angie, dear. Oh, because there is a card in the post, because next Monday it will be your birthday. So I'm hoping we'll have birthday cake. We can have, oh, how lovely. It'll all be about Angie next Monday. Oh, and our lovely Candy is having her operation on that day. I know, it's your birthday, Angie. <laughs> mm. Look what lovely Jean, Jean Moran sent me. Isn't that lovely? And it says here, uniquely handmade. I've just got the date and her name. And do you know, it doesn't seem a minute since I did my autumn journal. And Jean sent me something then as well to put in my, that's so nice of you to think of me when you're making your ephemera, Jean, dear. So lovely. And that is going to go in my Christmas journal. I'm going to put it just there. Thank you so much, Jean. Thank you. And before we start our prompts, um, we won't start them because Alison's just driving home from the gym. I wanted to show you, oh, and some lovely fabric from Kat. To you, thank you, Kat, which are going to be, that's going to go on my beginner's quilt. Mm. Did Nettie say, did Nettie, is it your birthday on the 31st? That's lovely. <laughs> Aww. Hmm. Okay, Cheryl, Cheryl's popping off. She'll be back. Look, did anybody notice that Flo was holding a parcel? Isn't that lovely? Freddie has parcels, Flo has parcels. If you've got anything, Mo, I don't know whether Mo's got anything. It says, Florence Ferry, Toadstool House, Woods, Croydon, Care of Ben. Because mm, that is where Flo was born. Up in the woods near Ben's. Let's see. I don't know what's in this. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ooh, nice little bit of tape. We can, ooh, we use that. Can draw on that, lovely. Oh, that's lovely washi. Let's see, it's so lovely to get presents, isn't it, Flo? Did anyone notice, Miss Becky? Oh, <laughs> talking about going to the gym, Alison. Barbara's obviously said something, and Becky Waters says she sure hopes, she sure wishes thinking about going to the gym worked. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And you've got a little running icon. Hmm. So let's have a look. Let's open it up. What a surprise. <gasps> oh, it's from Love, from Tilly, Fleur, and Oh, Aurora. Oh, my goodness. And there's a picture of Tilly, of Tilly, Fleur and Aurora. Your sisters. I think somebody needs a journal. I think somebody needs their own happy mail journal. Wow. Thank you to the wonderful, creative fairy godmother that made Flo. Oh, look at that, you've got your own. There's your sisters, how wonderful. Wow. Oh, look, a beautiful headdress. Oh, how wonderful. Let's, oh, we can put it on over your scarf. <gasps> Oh, you look glorious, Flo. Oh, wow. And all sorts of fairy dust and 
buttons and charm. Oh, Flo, beautiful. Some gorgeous little bits of real gold, I'm sure. And lovely sparkly bits and dolls. Wow. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Actually, that is gold leaf. That's gorgeous. And little flowers. Wow. I think we will start making you. I know, Flo. Do you want some help making a journal, Flo? And it says Merry Christmas. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to see if I can leave an Instagram link in the comments. Do Instagram links work in comments? So that I can, I can direct you to a website um, or an Instagram page. Oh, how lovely, where we might see some more pictures of Flo's sisters. I know, absolutely adorable. Wow, you hold that. Gosh, goodness me. Wow, Flo. Shall we do a little prompt game? <laughs> I'd be drinking my chamomile tea. And Cheryl, dear, are you back? What's your, what's, what does it taste like, your pumpkin bread? Are you having some now? Mm. I'm hoping that I, I will be able to do some cooking. I don't put pressure on myself. It's good to be kind to ourselves and just do what we feel we can. <laughs> I know, Becky, I know. It's so lovely. So lovely. It's Ben's next door neighbour who has a wonderful Instagram account and she actually makes these little berries. She does. <laughs> what that is gorgeous, that little headdress made with wire. Oh, wonderful. It's like you'll be ready to go to Rebecca's party. Kat's got her coffee. Cheers. <laughs> oh. There's Becky. Becky. Because you know we love upcycling. Use the box. Uh -huh. Can you? That's wonderful. It's. I love that idea of using the box. And I love it because I would have made a really small one, but it's like she's got a huge one. You're going to have a huge journal there. I love that. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll be making that next week. Or we could make it with the painty papers we've made. How about that? Oh. Cheers, Dawn. Dawn, that doesn't mean to say when you said you're not having, because it's the afternoon in Scotland and it's terribly cold. Um, you can see I don't look. It's sort of a complete surprise what the prompts are going to be. Hi, Jean. Oh, hi. Um, let me just pick out these. Oh, no, that's not a prompt. That's a postcard to make. One, two. Let me pick out these. Oh, I've just shown you a lovely happy mail, Jean. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. Oh, Dawn. Dawn started on. Have you started on the... Um, Hot chocolate and Baileys already. <laughs> Keep you warm. Jean, I was just saying thank you so much for thinking about me. I could, really, seriously. You make when you make your ephemera and you make it so beautifully. And you think, I'll make a little piece for Jean. That's so lovely. Never expected and never expect things. No. How wonderful. There was another little bit. That went in there or here look here that's another nice idea isn't it a gale tea and gale tea are you there because i want to fight to do your trifold idea that you did in your video thank you jean it's really lovely and i love the way you've got your name on the back i will be i'm going to use the lingo i'm going to make it a tip in <laughs> I know. 
I'm using the lingo. <laughs> right, let's do What are we going to do? So I've got this postcard that I started last week. I did what? I finished one of them. I didn't finish all of them. Let me see. Let me see what I'm going to do the prompts on. I'm actually going to make a postcard from the back of this. Well, I, one of the things I made when I was listening to Beth is I got, because I just had the magazine and I didn't have any card or anything, I was just using the magazine. I folded the magazine, magazine up and into a card shape. So it's a pretty piece of paper. I folded it into six to make the card. I made a Christmas card for somebody. So that's what I'm going to do today. Just going to fold this up and I'll probably make it postcarding. So it's basically making your own card. So you don't even need to buy card or paper. Don't really need it. Gail's back, Gail, Gail A. There's Gail T. Yeah, you're here. Glad you're going to try the trifold. Yes, I don't want to forget that actually. Because I had, and I was going to do that for today. I used to have, I'll link it, I used to have those. Used to, you used to be able to buy them, didn't you? So I'm going to make my, sub. is that substrate? Is that what you call it? And I'll be gluing that all together. Or I might just washi tape it together. That'd be easier, wouldn't that? I'm going to washi tape it together. Now, what does this say? Add corrugated card. Oh, do you know we've had that one recently, but let's go for that prompt. Let's do it. <laughs> Add corrugated card. I'm just going to, just so it doesn't keep popping open as I'm making it. So this postcard, and it will go through the post. I think postcards have to be no more than four by six. Add corrugated card. Now I know that somewhere, oh yes, somewhere here, I saved a little gingerbread man. Like Nike, just do it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh dear. Lingo. I know it's the it's the it's the young the there's a word for it. I remember Laura using there's a proper word that each community, this crafting community has. When 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 I first started watching the crafting community, they tip ins and flip ups and flip outs and <laughs> <you know. laughs> oh dear. Is that corrugated? It's not quite corrugated, is it? But you use what you want to use. I think there's a coffee cup holder that has corrugated here. Let's see, is there? Ah, yes, here. I hope everybody else has got a desk like this. <laughs> oh dear. Well, or dining room table. Oh, well done. Hmm. The trifold pot. Oh, well done. Well, well done. There it is. Yes. Thank you, Gail, dear. That, have, follow that link and I will put it in later because, yeah, definitely. Now, let me see. If I put that on, that is going to... Hmm, what am I going to do? I'm going to print with that. Have I got time? Yes, probably. Take your time, Jana. Just take your time. I'm going to print with it. So that means I've got to prepare this a little bit more. What do I want to do? I want to scrape some paint. Yes, just you don't have to do the prompts if you don't want to. Just enjoy being here. Um, if you want to, you can. Sometimes prompts are good just to start you off. You don't even, I'm making a postcard, but you can just make a piece of art and then fold it up and 
make something else with it or cover it up. It's just, just something to get you going, really. I'm just going to put some gesso on here because it's a little bit shiny. So use corrugated. It depends. If you're doing this in your journal, you don't mind if it's lumpy, but this postcard is going to go through the post. <laughs> Snacking on your bread and it's yummy. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll like those, that trifold pocket. It's like stationery we used to have years ago, isn't it, girl? Right, where can I put the rest of this? Oh, I'm just gonna open this up and scrape a bit of paint. I don't like to waste any. There you go. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> right, now what was I doing? Ah, yes. Oh, of course. I haven't got my apron on, I'm using paint. That's why our clothes end up in paint. I know. Yeah, Angela changed her name, didn't you? There we go. Oh, gold. I'm oh wow, I'm using gold. And I'm going to use the corrugated paper to print and make a pattern. But um, I, I love it when people just rip the corrugated paper too and use it. I just don't think this is going to rip. So I'm, this is why I'm doing it this way. Desk, dining room table. <laughs> yes, you have to excavate for yours, do you? Oh, oh dear. I do hope we're not taking bets on the, if, if I'm going to um, get my sleeve in this paint. I always have good intentions. Look at this. I'm just going to... Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Who wouldn't want a nice little bit of gold? Oh, have I done it already? No. Just what I like. Right, put it this side and then you won't. There you go. I'm giving myself a talking to. I can't roll my sleeves, I've always my to you. You know me too well. I did, Beth, I rolled my sleeves up earlier. It's just this little bit of painting I'm doing now. I don't think this is corrugated, but it's going to come from too. It might be. Laurie. So nice to see you. Yours, Janet, stop. Put your apron on. Oh, Becky said, I have to put my apron on. If Jared told me to, because Charles says to me sometimes, go to bed. Go to bed, Janet. <laughs> okay, I did. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Good job you're there to look after me. <laughs> Becky says, I'm trying to have a break from the children. Janet, I'm not here to look after you. Oh, it does come from too. Ooh, lovely. Oh, I love that. Oh, lovely. So I'm going to have some. Oh, some for texture. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, I just dip it in there, I think. Mmm, lovely. Oh, great. Right, and then some for, oh, hold on, that dried. Oh, let's put a bit more on sleeves. Oh, I know, Barbara, it's just, yeah. That's why sometimes you just don't bother because you know that the bit you don't cover up is the bit that you're going to get paint on. I know, I know. And gold wouldn't look too bad on this blouse, would it? Right. <laughs> Sorry, the parent came out in you. I know, thank you, I just did the type of. <laughs> oh no, don't apologise. I won't put you in time out for it. <laughs> oh dear. Not like the other night. Oh, what am I like? Oh, lovely. I'm just gonna. 
I've got the heating on so that paint dries off here quite quickly. Oh, lovely. Just, um, of course, you can't see, but um, I'm, I'm just a little bit of, just a little bit of shiny paper, isn't it? Just a little bit of gold. I will go in there and stick it all together, but not for the moment. Let's just see. Hold on. Is there anything left on here? I won't waste any. <laughs> You're going to go and eat and have a nice quiz. Angie, if I don't see you before, but hopefully, Angie, I'll see you in some of the chats. Yes, before that. You take care, Angie. So nice to see you. And I hope I'm not too late in saying, saying that either. Ah, oh, you. Yes. Gosh. Those are lovely colours, the blue, gold, pink with some black. That's your envelope, Jean. Nothing wasted here. Jean M, thank you. I love envelopes. Dawn, Dawn, he's had two long walks and one of them was chasing his girlfriend round. I should do, yeah. Oh, there is a little video coming of him chasing with Molly. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you, Cathy. So, and you never know how this is going to come out. And last week, is, oh, really funny prompts, but it just all pulls together. You put a bit of a, I put a bit of a gold border on and a heart and, it made a lovely postcard to send off. I don't know what the postal service is going to be like for the minute though, but a nice strong blue to put this on because it's wanting to fold up. Oh, lovely, enjoying this. <laughs> there. So first prompt was, we're only on prompt one, add, corrugated paper oh lovely so just got a bit of texture i've actually got some background how wonderful what we're going to pick next shall we see hmm. oh did fred when i got up he probably thought oh more hmm. they're ever hopeful aren't they dawn Mm, ever hopeful. <laughs> How's little West today? Has he been out in the snow? Mm. You're meant to be cleaning the front room window. Mm, really? Oh. But <laughs> alas, you find yourself here. <laughs> Scra oh, how funny. Now, this is interesting. I have done this prompt for lovely Kimberly, and she's not here today. One of Kimberly's favourite things to do is scrape paint. How funny. We've been scraping paint all morning. I'm loving that. Let's find a colour. I'm going to use silver. Mm, housework can wait, of course. Yes. Yeah. Oh, always, always. I know. Oh, dear, there's always some excuse, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, that's got gold on it. Ooh, lovely. Let's pop that in there. That can become something. Um, let's do some silver. Scrape paint. How funny. Trish, good morning. Good morning. So nice to see you. Welcome back. <laughs> You're becoming quite the regular now on the lives. That's so lovely. So lovely. Oh, Barbara, sometimes you have to slip into domestic goddess mode, though, don't you? Oh. Scrape paint. I will, I will message Kimberly. Obviously, no pressure. But just to say... No, I won't because I don't want to pressurise her. She's off with hubby today. Hubby must be off. No. That's so funny. Oh, lovely. 
scrape paint. Oh, hmm, it's the sounds of our crafting as well that we like. Oh, thank you, Trish, dear. Oh, thank you. Just some silver. So we, we've got a lovely, we've got a lovely background going on here, haven't we? I'm loving that. And let's take these, these journals. I was, I'm not going to paint on the cat one thing. Yeah, yes. That's not going to be as mixed media -y. I could be trying something more subtle. Let's just, oh, lovely. Silver and gold, gorgeous. Mm. Mm. I put those colours out because I thought today, I thought they'd be quite festive. I love scraping the paint, you can scrape it so it's dry, it's nearly dry. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Lovely page in my lorry paint, girly. Mm. And don't worry if you just get round to doing the backgrounds. You can do other things later. Mm. Mm. Oh, did you, Trish? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh. <laughs> So let's glue this up because it's coming a bit apart and then we need another prompt oh oh ha do you know this is just too interesting this is add a frog and i know beth you like frogs and that was one for one time when you asked me to put a frog on something I was making. And Kimberly loves frogs. And by way of cheating, I had that little frog in a magazine and I clipped it to there so I'd have that to use. Is that cheating? <laughs> oh, I think it's when I was making my fairy journal. It was Beth. And Kim asked me to put a frog in the in behind one of the doors. <laughs> oh. oh, you're going to do it again. That's fantastic. Um, that's fantastic. There we are. You're starting in January, so I'm sure a lot of us will will join you. A little frog. I know. There. <laughs> oh, Dixie. Hi, Sona. I'm going to put my little froggy in the corner there. I'm just going to tack him down because I, I'm, I'm hoping there'll be something maybe behind that I put on. Now you can always add whatever you like. Don't worry. We won't send around the prompt police. It's Dixie. Hi. So nice to see you. You've been listening and waking up and you're getting coffee. Oh, so nice. So nice. Oh, I know. People are gently listening in the background for one reason or other, because it is quite early in America as well. But other, see, on the back, it'll be a postcard, but I put white paper on the back and then write the address. So I've just tacked my little frog down. Now, if Aunt Bex was here, she'd like this because this is quite a mad prompt, isn't it? To add a frog. Right, let's have another one. Let's have another one. Oh, gosh, I can't read it. Use brown paper. And I gave myself some brown paper there. Ooh, but I have some, my grease proof paper from today is brown, so I'm going to use that. Oh. Did you hear Fred? He's snoring. Oh, such a busy time running around with your girlfriend, didn't you? She's a golden retriever called Molly. And she just gets covered because she's that lighter fur. She gets covered in mud. <laughs> oh. 
use brown paper. Or if you want an alternative, say alternative. There's Mary. Good morning, Mary. Oh, Mary, I watched on Catch Up. You're amazing. Um, prompt game that you did. And you did yours. You picked 10 and you made it in a shadow box. It's gorgeous. You had a painted paper background with white on and then you taped it off and oh wonderful I love it I love it so this is brown paper and I'm just doing what I always do my little signature move here is to make it's like a painting paper heart on here out of this brown it's brown grease proof paper. Ooh, lovely. We'll cut some more out. I thought that would come in handy. We're using our painty paper already. Oh, Mary. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I haven't been able to be with you live very much. Quite a lot of the time in the day. I'm, I have admin to do. And... Um, for, for my mom and it, but um and yeah other things but um it's lucky to catch up on the replay oh can we list the prompts in Taiwanese um what were the prompts I can say them let's have a look we had uh, what did we have what was first add Corrugated paper, Mary. Scrape paint. And this is where we like to get a little bit different. Add a frog. Not exactly Christmassy, but your spelling is atrocious. No, it's not at all. Not at all. We love Taiwanese. Um, we love Taiwanese, Beth, dear. If it wasn't for Beth, I wouldn't be here now, would I, Beth? It was Beth who was saying, keep going, Janet, keep going. You're only, you're only one step away from pressing the right button. We couldn't get sound to work, could we? We realised, I think, then that it was my laptop. I don't know what we did, but, oh, thank you, Beth, dear. Always appreciate you and everybody. That's so lovely and supportive in chat and in the background. And, with messages and things. <laughs> oh, frog. And then, oh, the other, I just got waylaid. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. Then the next prompt is add brown paper. So it can be any type of brown paper packaging uh, or like the Amazon paper. I'm just using brown greaseproof paper. And I've just added three hearts with my my brown painty paper oh and I, i'll be doing some doodling in black and later later <laughs> do you want another prompt are you ready let's have a look oh some interesting ones i'm it's nice and easy this week taking it easy it says add color thanks janet dear mm. Lovely and crinkly. It's lovely and crinkly, isn't it? Mm. I should add, I will add this to my painty paper over there. Mm. Oh, Gail, Gail, you have to leave again. Pick up grocery order and go to the vets to pick up more meds for Obi. Dear little Obi. Mm. This is a little kiss from, from Freddie to Obi. Take care. Have a nice Christmas, Gail. Take care, girl, dear. Just sitting back so you can see little Freddie. Look, Mary, there's Freddie. He's very sleepy. Playing around, running and jumping and going in puddles. Seriously, his, his girlfriend, Molly, is such a tomboy. You know that Fred goes in the mud. Wow. Goodness me. Little, um, little, little Molly. I'm going to add colour. Ooh, lovely. 
I mean, you can just use your painting paper if you want to. Add colour. Hmm. I'm going to do some more of this. Or you could use anything. Add colour by just putting washi tape down. I think add colour means do your own thing, chicken wing. Actually, I'm not going to add that. I'm going to add some washi. I've got various washi tapes. Or you could add um, coloured fabric. Here we are. This is a washi tape card from Ali. Ali Cousins. Ali's not here, but I'm sure you'll be on replay. Hi, Ali. <laughs> no pressure, though. I'm going to add some lovely colourful washi. It's nice that it isn't a Christmassy theme because by the time this arrives in the post, it won't be Christmas anymore. Freddie is a hippo. Mm. I thought the tune was all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Um, <laughs> or is there a song about wanting a hippopotamus? Is there? I, oh, I'm literally, I don't know why, I'm literally just putting, thanks, Ali, putting the washi tape on just very randomly. Oh, I just like, I just like it when you don't have to think, what's it going to be? Just let it flow. I love that. I'm trying to get the end of the washi tape. Then you put it on a playing card and then you can use that in your art. Can't find the end. Let me do, uh, is there another one? I have a few of those. Knocking around this desk. <laughs> Want a hippopotamus for Christmas? Only hippopotamus will do. Oh, it must be something, unless it's a story. Ah, I tell you, our lovely Barbara will be sending me a link. Mm. Oh, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. There's Janice. <laughs> Janice, get back to work. <laughs> Janice is meant to be working, but she's singing the hippopotamus song. I will be getting an email. It won't ping here because emails don't work on this old phone. But um, I've got a new phone coming. Don't worry. I, I, you'll be sending me an email of that song. I haven't heard that one. It must be American. Oh, that's an old, old one. Oh, right. I do. There you go. I had a frog. I know. I just. I just like to be just that little bit different, <laughs> Well, I know someone says they like something, and then when Beth and Gimberly said they liked um they liked frogs, I thought, ooh, let's add a I don't know, um, I'm literally just adding little dots and bits and bobs of the washi tape, tiny little bits of it too. It will all pull together once I start to doodle on it. And there's probably Alison from AJ's Inspired Life. She'll be writing down these prompts. I'm sure she'll appreciate the frog. <laughs> there's Ben. Good morning, Ben. Hi. How are you feeling? Ben went to get the booster, didn't you, Ben? How are you feeling? All okay? And did your parcel arrive yet, Ben? Ben's got cheese coming in a parcel. How nice. <laughs> I shall help him with that parcel. <laughs> You've just had two pieces of the pumpkin bread. You're being lazy now. Look, Cheryl, you can have two pieces because it's Monday. Yes. And, and Janet's, we're here. It's fine. You can have two pieces. Lovely. Janet sent me this... Um, Barbara sent me the song, so I will be. I can sing the hippo song, which I there she is. There's Alison. All I know is I'm ready for the next time hedgehogs come up. Oh, don't worry, they won't come up again, Alison. <laughs> no, not really. I was going to say, Chibi, you do know what a frog is. Do you know what a frog is? No, not really, Alison. <laughs> right. 
Oh, we have a Christmassy one. Add bells. That's that prompt. Add bells. So it wasn't looking very Christmassy. But you can turn your page around to look Christmassy, I'm sure. Add bells. Or would you like an alternative? Would you like an alternative to bells? Let me know. I think I would like an alternative to bells. I have got some, but they're not going to work on a postcard. A lovely, sorry, I'm not the camera. Did it? Yeah. And bells would be nice. I've got some little charms. I've got some bells here, look. Purely by chance, well, because it's Christmas and I'm going to add them to bits and pieces. They'd look nice for you, wouldn't they, Flo? Do I have an add a gnome? I do. I have an add a gnome for Becky, but we've already had that one quite a while back. We had that, and I, I, I tend to take them out once we've had, especially the crazy ones, so we don't have them again, Janice. Did. <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? So add bells if you want to. They'd be nice as a charm on, on the side of a page if you were doing that. I'm going to get, oh, you could do them flat. I'm going to ask for an alternative. Am I missing somebody? I think my chat's in a bit of a lag. You want an alternative to frog? <laughs> do you want an alternative to frog or do you want an alternative to bells? Let me just pick two out here. Let me give two alternatives so you've got choices. It's nice to have choices. I've got ribbon or yarn. Ribbon or yarn, these are the alternatives. Or festive food. Festive food. So you could add a picture of your mince pies or something that reminds me of Beth in stream when you were when you were doing oh how lovely I'm going to add ribbons how nice um when you were doing the dinner rolls at Thanksgiving and you were using the puffy pen weren't you Beth <laughs> and you've got two alternatives if you want them there we are. So we don't want that one going back in the basket, do we? Festive food. Oh, and Aunt Bex is here. We were just talking. Why were we talking about Aunt Bex? We did say so. Oh, add a gnome for Aunt Bex. But we've had that one before. It's frogs today in the crazy prompts. <laughs> oh, dear. What am I like? So I'm just going to, I'm going to use an alternative to bells. I am going to use ribbon on mine. <laughs> Good morning, Aunt Bex. I believe you have a latest video up that I haven't watched and I would like to watch that. Um, is it's your Christmas, is it Christmas sewing? Did I, did I, did I see that right? Sometimes I might be doing other bits and pieces, but it, it comes a notification comes up on my phone and I made a little mental note there. So nice to see you, Becky, dear. Is it nearly oatmeal time? So, yes, I am going to sew this on and it's probably time to throw in some, throw in a number, throw in a number between one and a hundred, and I'll send out a little piece of happy mail, a little envelope or a little postcard or nothing big, just a little bit of thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well done, already doing it, already on the job, yes. And I kept my apron on, Becky W. This ribbon is from Jean Moran and it's on, it was on a tag and I'm using it, uh, this, yes, it's ribbon wound round a tag, very handy, very handy. So I'm going to slow stitch on here. I'm actually quite liking the subtle colours on there. What's that there? Oh, that's the thread. It's coming on, it's coming on. 
it's going to have some ribbon, it's going to have some gold, might be something behind the frog. So now add your own words and do your own thing. <laughs> do your own thing. There's Janice with nine and three quarters. We're going to get that number one day on Random Org, aren't we? <laughs> so it's the nearest number on or under. Pop in people's names. Oh, what's bad is I already deleted everything from my camera card. Oh, Aunt Bex, that's really stressful. Hmm. Oh, so, so stressful. Now, am I missing someone there? Am I missing saying hello to Maria? If, if I have, please um, shout out again, because you know I don't like to miss any. I I'm nosy. I don't like to miss out on what's going on. And oh, look at all these wonky stitches. I love that. It's slow stitching. So let's go what 18 for Angie. That's it. People that have been here, people that aren't here, maybe Candy because she's was watching us earlier, but forget, she'd probably be in her appointment now. Uh, so yes, anybody, anybody that's not even been here for a while. It's always nice to get a little bit of happy now, even if it's something really tiny. This is wonderful. Slow stitching is so good. Big stitches, small stitches. <laughs> oh, so have you got all the prompts? Did we get them all? Gosh, that goes so quickly. This is lovely because I might take this with me. This is another thing I can take on the train with me on Wednesday. I've got my slow stitching and this and maybe just even a black pen and do some doodling on it. Mm. Ellen, good morning. So nice to see you. Really nice to see you. Welcome. Welcome into the chat. So nice. And welcome to all those as well that are gently listening in the background and, and that also, you lovely replayers, if you never get to get any happy mail because you're always in the background, just, just find a way of messaging me, do. Sherry, good morning. So nice to see you. We meet up in Beth's, don't we, Sherry? Right, let's do random.org. See, I've got sewing now. Just doing some, just some... Some lovely, rough and ready stitches. <laughs> oh, yes, lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Mary, dear. Becky says she loves the hippo song. We'll have to have, have add a hippo. Maybe that add a hippo should be in there. Well, I look forward to opening up Barbara's email and maybe I'll be whistling it next week. <laughs> Bye for Teresa had to go. Thank you, Cheryl, dear. We think about one another, don't we? Oh, and lovely Lizzie. Lizzie Brewer was here earlier. And Vanessa. Vanessa with her poorly hand was here earlier, wasn't she? Hmm. I don't want to forget anybody. Right, let's see. Well, this has been wonderful wonderful and i will see i will be here next monday um let's see on uh, angie's birthday mm. dixie says your slow stitching is interfering with the christmas preparations i know sherry i know mm. <laughs> The struggle is real, isn't it? It's just too tempting and relaxing just to, just to, yeah, I know, just to do it. I know. Random, no, uh, random number. What are you slow stitching at the moment? Or is it just on fabric and you're not sure? It doesn't have to be anything. Um, um, yes, just tell me more. There's a thing oh, among thrifters to find a house hippo for good luck. I've never heard that. That must be an American thing. Oh, I really am going to have to add, add a hippo. 
yes, it's it's there. It's it's going in there for next week. But will when will we pull it out? Add a hippo, and I've just got to make sure. It'll be good luck when I pull that out. You're going to have a quiet Christmas this year. Everyone is so. Yeah, I'm sorry, Beth. Um, Aunt Bex, dear. Yeah, you you have had a hard year. I know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, Greg will be with you. There'll be the three of you. Yes. Yeah. Sending love to everybody because. I think a lot of people are going to be having the quiet Christmases as well. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, let's pick a number. You're working on a series I'm calling Home. Several panels with linen patched backgrounds. Wow. You're calling it Home. Panels with linen patched backgrounds. How wonderful. Gosh. Dixie, that sounds wonderful. Wow. You're, really, you're obviously really, really into it. Yeah. Let's get this number. And then, oh, look, one to 100. Generate the number. And it comes up with the number 22. So let's pop. I'll write that down, 22. Now, if you could help me. Um, number 22, who was nearest or under number 22? Oh, and um, Mary, I know that you're working so hard. You're helping your dear brother. Bless you for that. Putting his um, eye drops in. You have 20. So is it lovely Aunt Bex? Becky has 20. So there we are, Aunt Bex. And Aunt Bex, you like to have a postcard because you collect postcards. Or, or, or would you like, hold on, some cat fabric. Cat fabric. Cat fabric. I'm making a pocket. Am I making a pocket with that bit? No, I'm not. I just need to make sure I've got one patch for that and then I think I'm making a pocket. Um, a postcard or some cat fabric, Aunt Bex, dear. If I send the cat fabric, I can send some other little bits of fabric. Your choice, dear. I don't expect, just so you can make like a little patch or something slow stitchy. There, so I can message Becky if she doesn't get a chance. Susie, hi, so nice to see you. Oh, welcome into chat, that's lovely. So nice to see you. Janet, if you would please send to Lisa. Ah, no, I'm Bex, dear. Um, this is Cheryl's idea. I've made actually a slow stitch heart for Lisa. Um, it's got just lots of stitching done with love. That's why there's lots of stitches on there. So it's, um, thank, thanks, Janet, dear. So I can actually thank you for that. So I am going to be sending that. And, and Cheryl mentioned that last week and when it came to wonky hearts. So, yes, that's going to, ah. Uh, that's it, yes. And we, but, but that's a wonderful way to end the stream. I will have a little messenger with you late in a minute, lovely Aunt Bex. Yes, thank you. That's a lovely way to end the stream, actually, by thinking about Lisa and her family. Yes. Oh, well, Cheryl, yes. Yes, I mean, Sherry, yes, yes. Yes. So, hmm. Aunt Beck said, oh, yes. A thank you, Becky. Uh, a friendship heart shower would be lovely for Lisa. What a wonderful idea, Becky, Becky dear. 
Are you thinking hearts that could hang, maybe? And they could be made of paper. They could be made of rubbishy recycling. They could be made sausage, fabric. Yes. Or something you've already done. Your painty papers and cut it up and, and send it. Something you've already done. Mm. Yes, with hangers. Yes. So let's, we'll talk about that more next week. But I'll send mine off. Should we send them all off at different times, Aunt Bex? So we could send a heart. Yes, let's all send a heart. Like it could be, say this is cardboard here. It could be something like this. Because this is a lovely little thought. That, so we could do slow stitching or we could make it like this and pop a hanger on. Let's, something that you could hang it, it's like a ribbon. Excuse my desk, gosh. Say something, I'm just thinking of this quickly. Say like ribbon or string and maybe some words or some little faux stitching. Beth, you've got it. Yes, happy Christmas. Yeah. You will also make one for Julie. Yes, let's do some. Yes. Have you got Julie's address? Is Julie's address in Fibsville? Melanie's saying happy Christmas to everybody. Oh, Becky W sent a, a happy mail to um, Becky. I'm going to wander around with that. Maybe tomorrow evening. Yeah. So literally, and then staple that on. Staple it on. So it doesn't have to take a long time either. Yes. Hearts for Lisa. And maybe Julie as well. Yes, if you know Julie from Fitzville, definitely. So that's a wonderful idea. We'll talk more. I'm going to send this one off, but we'll talk more about that next week as well. Mm. Oh, she's Aussie. Oh, my mail is getting through from England. But yeah, that is that you reminded me and I had forgotten about that. Yeah. OK, so um, card to um or a heart to uh, draw a heart there to um who will be saying julie yeah you reminded me yeah great idea thanks i i know two heads are better than one <laughs> lots of heads are better than one mm. and for bar bowing i tell you we let's yes sending our little they can be symmetrical hearts if you've got a cutter you might like die cutting or they can just be wonky because it's easier to do yes let's send some love through the post and they don't have to take a long time to do or on a postcard because i've got some little hearts on here oh no becky said let's have them with hangers yes yes i i understand that yes mm. Good idea. Thank you. Well, hmm. goodbye, everybody. <laughs> goodbye, Dixie. Goodbye, Becky, Becky, um, Aunt Bex, Becky, Aunt Bex, and Becky W, and Janet, and, and West. It's so, been so nice. Now, West, you need to get a dawn. Um, no excuse now. Uh, it, I think you need to start cleaning the windows. Oh, no, I'm getting really bossy now. No, just have a cup of tea. It's cup of tea time now, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you for modding. Nice to see you, Mary. And Carol, goodbye, dear. Oh, Alison, goodbye. Oh, have a wonderful Christmas week. And Oh, and with all your lovely family, Alison. Oh, take good care. Angela, goodbye. Oh, Kat. 
thank you for my happy mail, Kat, that was lovely. Oh, thank you, Jean, for my happy mail. <laughs> I'm not really being bossy, Dawn, no. <laughs> it's nearly Christmas, so we can have a rest. Oh, I love you, Barbara. I hope I didn't miss Barb saying goodbye to Barbara. Did she go off for her walk? Oh, Sherry. Goodbye, Beth, dear. And Joe. Joe will be there. <laughs> Bye, Joe. <laughs> Bye, Susie. Oh, thank you. We will have a lovely week, won't we, Freddie? Lots of lovely muddy walks with Freddie. I'm so glad to be home and getting back to doing all that. Mm. Goodbye, Nettie, dear. Enjoy the children and making more cakes. Happy Christmas, Joe, dear. And I will see you. I'll see you at Beth's and maybe at the party. There's Becky W. <laughs> Goodbye, Becky. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, happy Christmas, Cat. Oh, Merry Christmas. Mm, that's the way. Lots of mud. We've got any choice, have we, Dawn? Oh. Julie is in the Fibsville file. Yeah, I've written that down now. Thank you, Aunt Bex, for coming in. And, oh, yes. Jean, Jean Bailey. Goodbye, dear. <laughs> oh, bye, Cheryl, dear. Mm, take care. Have another slice of pumpkin bread, Cheryl. You know you want to. <laughs> oh, bye, everybody. <laughs>